So, hey guys, welcome to a brand new VR live stream. Today we're going to do... Play some Sprint Vector. Oh! I love the intro screen. It's probably the best VR intro screen like ever. <laughs> but anyways, welcome to a brand new live stream where today we're going to be playing some Sprint Vector on the tutorial. Coming live from a secret location in Sector C. Sprint Vector is about to begin! Don't touch that dial, folks. We're moments away from the most exciting... Okay, we gotta continue on with the tutorial. I played a little, but it's quite fun already. Even though the tutorial's great. And also, this is by the same people of Raw Data. The demo I played. On the VR demo, on the final episode. I think that was today or yesterday. Yesterday. Let's learn some intermediate skills. All right. While there, you can fly by extending both arms forward and holding down the T buttons on both hands. Just like you're a superhero, you can't jump here, so you gotta soar to reach the finish line. Whee! Try and make it to that cliff above you by you made it across. With flying, you can make much further gaps than you normally would by just falling. Remember, you can fly whenever you want. You don't need a boost. While flying, you can turn by simply twisting your arms, kind of like steering a car. Point your head and hands in the direction you want to go. Try to make it to the end by steering around these walls. Now that you know how to turn midair, you can better control yourself along a racetrack when flying. Oh yeah, let's go. To climb a wall, simply pull yourself up by grabbing the green handles. To grab oh. a handle, Hold the T button over the handle, and your hand will snap to the nearest grabbable object. You can't jump here. Try and climb to the top of these walls. All right. Pull yourself up by grabbing handle to handle. To snap to a handle, simply hold the T button. Uh, sorry, guys. Just reach out for the next object. Grab one with the T button and pull yourself up to the next one. Alternate your hands to steadily climb up the wall. Wire. Good job. Now you can scale up climbable walls. All right. It's great. You can also fling yourself up a wall to climb faster. To fling yourself, first grab a handle with the T button, hold it above your head, and then throw it straight down to the floor. Release the T button on the way down. You can't slow climb these. Make it up the walls by flinging yourself upward. <laughs> Deliberately fling your arm towards the ground and release the note. Look up so you can direct yourself easier. Remember to release the T button midway through your swing when your hand is moving fastest to fling yourself at higher speeds. To fling yourself, grab any handle, look up, then swing your arm straight down and release the button along the way. Avoid scrambling up a wall. It's always faster and easier to fling yourself up a wall. Having trouble flinging yourself? Try to imagine throwing a ball downwards to the floor. The harder you throw, the further you'll fling. Remember to look up so you can see where you're going when you fling yourself. I never completed Deliver this part. Fling your arm towards the ground and release the note. Look up so you can direct your fantastic. Now you can quickly complete scale my up walls by flinging yourself ahead of the competition. All right. Double tap the T button to shoot your glove blast and blow things out of the way. Glove blast the target to open up the path. You can disable mines by hitting them with a well-placed glove blast. Glove
Glove blast the target to open up the path. I'm bad. Just double tap the T button to blast your way out of this room. Point your hand where you want to shoot and double tap the T button. The glove blast can be used not only to interact with the environment, but also to defend yourself from others. While racing, you can also grab power-ups to augment your vector gloves. Smash through a power ball and double tap the T button to activate your new ability. While Nitro is active, you don't need to keep sprinting. Use it to take the lead with minimum effort. Now that you understand these new mechanics, let's put you to the test. Use what you just learned to make it to the end of the track. Whoa! <sighs> what was that? Whoa. Shaken. <sighs> nice work. Fantastic. Oh snap. Great! Now that you completed these tutorials, you're ready to tackle beginner and intermediate race courses. Or, you can come back and try the advanced tutorial if you want to master Sprint Vector. Whoa, that is pretty cool. Ah, 
I'm dizzy. Ugh, I'm dizzy. I've got to get a drink. Splint Vector is a proud partner of More Post. Why deliver things by hand if you can morph time and space to warp it there? More Post. Oh. None of my friends play Sprint Vector. What's the point? The oh, let's continue on with the tutorial. Oh. My right arm is tensing. <sighs> But is my mic muted? No. Okay, now let's get to the advanced stuff. You might have noticed these green ribbons earlier in the climbing tutorial. These are called grip strings. You can grab anywhere on a grip stream by holding the T button over it. Once you grab on, it will carry you along its path. Use these grip strings to reach the next platform. Any momentum you have before grabbing onto the grip stream will be kept during the rack. For this grip stream, you'll want to fling yourself across its length, just like you did in the fling climb tutorial. Uh, to fling yourself, snap. grab anywhere on the grip stream, throw your arm back, and release the T button mid swing. Fling yourself along this grip stream to reach the ledge above. You'll need to fling yourself multiple times before you reach the end to gain enough speed. Just because the grip stream will carry you, doesn't mean you should let it do all the work. Keep flinging yourself up the grip stream to go even faster. You can fling yourself multiple times along a grip stream to gain faster speed. Just like climbing, flinging is always much faster and easier than simply holding on to the grip stream. No, it isn't. The air brake allows you to slam towards the ground. Break midair by holding both the T button and the move button on both hands while airborne. Break while airborne to stop yourself from falling into the pit. You won't be able to fly here. Use the air brake to drop your way down to the floor. Integrating the air brake into your races will allow you to reduce the amount of hang time left over from flying or falling. In addition, you can combine flying with air brake to keep forward momentum while dropping. Drifting allows you to turn in place without moving your body. While skating, hold both the T button and the move button down on one hand to drift in that direction. Drift this corner with your right hand to avoid falling into the pit. Once you have the T and move buttons held down, keep that hand steady. Remember, you can keep sprinting with the other hand. Not quite there. Make sure you're drifting the entire curve and making it to the end. Nice. Additionally, you can sprint with your other hand while drifting to build more speed. You can pull your drift hand closer or further from your body to drift tighter or wider curves respectively. Drift around this corner with your left hand by pulling your drift hand close to your body. To drift around this corner, you will need to hold your drift hand closer to your body. Hold the T and move buttons on your left hand. Then bring that drift around this wider corner with your right hand by pushing your drift hand further from your body. To drift around this corner, you'll need to hold your drift hand far from your body. Make sure to drift over all the white floors. Oh, snap. Drifting with your right hand will turn you towards the right. Almost got it. 
Make sure not to let go of your drift buttons during the drift. Drift the entire curve of the track. Oh, drift the entire thing. Okay, no sprinting, I guess. That is hard. Hold the T and move buttons, then keep that hand extended away from your body for a wider drift. By pulling your drift hand closer, or remember, to drift while skate. Great! Now that you understand these advanced mechanics, it's time to put you to the test. Make it to the end of the track. Excellent! Fantastic. Congratulations on finishing the tutorials. Now you should know everything you need to race on any racetrack. If you want to know more about power-ups, feel free to try them out in the power-up playground. If you ever need to practice or to refresh your skills, feel free to play any of the tutorials again. That would be great. All right, let's go. Hmm. Whew. Man. Well, this game is actually quite fun. Power ups. During races, you can smash through power balls to get power-ups that augment your vector gloves. When you get a power-up, double tap the T button to use it. This area is a playground where you can test various power-ups on yourself. Go ahead and try out all the power-ups. When you'd like to leave, skate over to the exit behind you. The compressor mine is a high gravity field. The prox mine lies in wait until another racer enters the bubble, triggering an explosion. The explosion knocks back all nearby racers and the impulse shot will fire a projectile that grows larger. The crash missile disables the locomotion of the Hornet Barrage fires off three missiles that will lock on and chase opponent. Chrono Shift will warp you to the last checkpoint that the closest racer in front of you has reached. Use it to catch up to the rest of the pack when you're really far behind. Overdrive will remove the limits on your speed. Double tap the T button to activate, and then start skating with all your might. Nitro will boost you to extreme speeds. Double tap to activate, then hold the T button to boost your speed. While Nitro is active, you don't need to keep sprinting. Use it to take a break without losing speed. Shift will warp you to the last checkpoint that the closest racer in front of you has reached. Use it to catch up to the rest of the pack when you're really far behind. If you want to play around more later, you can come back here anytime to try out all of the different power ups. <sighs> I'll just end the live stream. Man, that was actually quite fun. So, but also, yeah, guys, this is actually day two of the release. So, yeah. This game was quite fun. Well, is fun. Never mind, just was. I wish I had friends. Well, I do, but...
Revenge Vector is available only on SNKDN, the number one intergalactic sports and news network. And the only network with satellites powerful enough to take over every I, other. That's my character, guys. Corperium Intergalactic are Broadcasting. Who's derivative now? Space for trophies. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, if you did, make sure to hit the like button. So yeah, see you guys in the next live stream. Bye-bye.